Hello again everyone, Deflect here, Firm But Fair Gaming. I wanted to bring you a video on the new amplifier system coming out in 6.2. I believe it's actually gonna be 6.2.1, but it's gonna be the next one for 6.2. Uh, so if you know about the amplifiers currently, amplifiers currently give you uh, different benefits for your armoring. Now they also do it for your mods, but these are all crafting benefits, so they're not as important. Whereas the other ones are benefits for DPS and such. So, uh, amplifiers right now, the old system, I'll talk about the old system because the old system is, you looked at anyone that had a 471 mastery for your DPS classes or your healing classes because that was the best. And you kept all those because it didn't matter what the initial roll was. You had to roll through to try and get the one you wanted. Uh, for instance, this one. I'm going to just show you quickly on this amplifier, even though it's not 471. But the old way is you go in here, you recalibrate, and every time you recalibrate, the t uh, cost per calibration goes up. So here's an example. It goes up to 21 and it goes up very quickly. So, you know, you start rolling this a couple times. Oh, <laughs> and of course I get the actual one that I wanted. That, that <laughs> rarely happens, but uh, just for instance, I'm gonna show you uh, how quickly your uh, credits will go down if you roll it just to 50,000 per roll. So you can see how fast it's going and you will lose just if you're going to 50,000, you'll lose about 600,000 credits just around here. So it goes very, very quick and very fast. And that is why uh, they're changing it, I believe, to benefit everyone else. I think that's the main reason behind it because the benefits from the new system are phenomenal. So the new system, when you go in here and you see an amplifier, I'm actually just going to see, I haven't checked this here. Yeah, so neither of them were... Perfect, but if you go in, you're gonna actually have, you can roll the old way in the new system. I'm not on the test server, so I can't show you, but you'll be able to roll it the old way, uh, basically and just hope for the uh, piece you want. If you want tech wizardry, if you want periodical intensity, if you want periodical intensity, you're just hoping to get one. That's it, it's just a chance, RNG. Keep chancing, keep chancing. In the new way, you're actually gonna have a drop down menu and you'll be able to select what one you're going after. It will cost more, so you can roll it the old way for a max of 100,000. It will cap out at 100,000. In the new way, you'll be able to select from a drop down menu and I believe it's gonna be 45,000 credits or 50,000 credits to roll, but you'll just be rolling for say Alpha Strike. That's it, you'll only have Alpha Strike in your roll, so you either get, they brought out a new one which is gonna be white so be white, green, blue, purple, or legendary. So that'll be 40 to 45,000 to 50,000 per roll, but you are stuck in what you want to roll for, which is gonna be exceptional. So now I will automatically, if I'm looking for periodical intensity, I'll uh, automatically select the drop down window, pick it, and then I am just gonna get these ones. Whether it's gonna be green, blue, purple, or legendary, is still left to RNG, but at that point, I'm just getting in the section I want. So yes, it's going to be more per roll, but instead of all of a sudden rolling and just getting random stuff like this, reinforced armor, a couple greens I'll never use, you're going to at least be benefiting yourself. So I like the new system. I'm looking forward to the new system because I have run a ton of these to try and get my all my gear to perfect. I spent uh, hundreds of millions of credits doing this and it just gets very very expensive hoping hoping dreaming wishing to get the top ones at uh, the top level I want in periodical intensity for this character or tech wizardry for another one. Now mind you I just rolled a couple that weren't top and I actually got them. I haven't seen a peri periodic intensity one for a few days now, but uh, I managed to get two today, so that was nice. Downfall is they're both not max level by any means, but <clears throat> you know, losing out on four mastery and two mastery isn't the end of the world. So I'm going to keep those anyway. But the new system, new system is going to be great. 
costs more, but you get to select what uh, what one you want. So the new amplifiers will help everybody out, and uh, it's just going to be such a benefit. Also, I forgot to mention, it resets daily. Uh, I believe it's daily or weekly. Sorry, let me uh, find that out. It's either daily or weekly that it resets, and the uh, initial cost goes right back down. So where I have to re-roll this one, and it's going to be what I left it at fifty thousand. The cost is actually going to revert back down to a twenty thousand starting point. So that's even better too. So now you're waiting a little bit, and it comes back down. So you do not have to hoard like I hoard all these armorings, hoping to roll one that is uh, what I need. So instead of hoarding them all, you can actually put into your gear. It won't be perfect, but you can put in whatever you want and then roll it and try and get it. And if you don't get it, you wait till the cooldown's over and then roll it again at the initial cost. So that's going to be an added benefit. Anyways, this was Deflect, uh, Firm But Fair Gaming. If you could subscribe, like, share, it greatly, greatly helps me out. We're trying to reach 500 subscribers this month and uh, we're getting on, we're really close. We're getting there. We're almost halfway there, which is amazing. And we are looking to push that for the end of the month. Keep watching out. I'm doing a build a day for this week. So watch out for all the build videos.